It's time to buckle up and put your rubber pants on, guys, because this is the shower sex story. So let's get right into it. Anyway, this happened in a very confusing period of my life. Back when I was transitioning from high school to college, I went from a very small, nerdy school with just a couple hundred people in it to a very, very large party school with tens of thousands of people in it. And when I got to college, just like most people, I had a roommate. And we're not going to use any real names here, so we'll go ahead and we'll call my roommate Paul. Now, Paul was a huge faggot. He looked like Eminem, wore very baggy clothes, um, and he just tried to sound like he was high all the time. And he wasn't high all the time, but he tried to sound high all the time because he wanted to be really cool. And he wanted to get with all the ladies. Me, on the other hand, I was a complete shut-in social awkward nerd who stayed in my room all day, locked the door, played video games, and talked to my internet friends. So me and Paul, we were pretty much polar opposites. And we kind of had this mutual agreement where we were like, you know, don't fuck with me and I won't fuck with you, right? So I didn't mess with his business, he didn't mess with my business, all was well. We got along, for, a first, for the first few months things were fine. Then Paul got a girlfriend, and we'll go ahead and we'll call her Sue. God, how do I think of these names? That's terrible. Anyway, we'll just call her Sue, because we're not using real names. Sue was fine. There was nothing wrong with her, besides the fact that she looked like a crack whore. Everything was totally fine. Um, she stayed out of my business, I stayed out of their business, you know, a week later, Paul and Sue break up. And he gets with another girl, and we'll go ahead and we'll call her Andrea. Andrea, same thing. All the women that he's with, they all look very similar. They're all extremely skinny and bony, they all have virtually no personality, they all have gigantic foreheads, and... Uh, yeah, for, for a while, everything's fine. They stay out of my business. I stay out of their business. You know, Paul doing his thing, breaking up again, constantly in and out of very loose relationships. But it's okay. You know what? I'm sitting playing my video games. I'm the happiest camper ever. Until all of a sudden, one day, Paul gets another girlfriend. What a surprise, right? We'll go ahead and we'll call her Stella. So Stella is the first girl who actually is annoying. And she's annoying because she doesn't shut the fuck up. And she constantly feels like she has to talk to me. Now remember guys, I'm a social... I'm socially inept. I am not tuned to be in these situations where I have to answer questions from women. So when she asks me things like, Oh my god! Why do you sit in your room all day? You're like talking, but there's nobody there. Are you like, are you like, like, like talking to yourself? And I'm like, no, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to people on the internet. And she's like, wait, but how, like, how is that even possible if there's nobody there? Like, what do you mean? Are you on the cell phone? I'm like, no, bitch, I'm not on the cell phone. I'm talking over a microphone. And she still doesn't get it. And so I'm like, I'm playing video games and talking to people. She's like, oh, you're playing video games? Oh, oh my god, my cousins play video games. What games do you play? I'm like, oh, I play, hmm, let me think about this for a second. I could go ahead and tell her I play The Sims, because maybe she might understand that, because women play The Sims, right? Or I could tell her that I play Diablo 3, which is what I was actually playing, and deal with a shitstorm of questions and things that I'm not prepared to answer. And I pick the wrong choice. I say that I play Diablo 3. And she's like, oh, oh, I think my older brother plays that. Oh, it's like Monopoly, right? Oh my god, Paul, you should go and get your friends. We should all get stoned right now and play Monopoly. Oh my god, that sounds like such a good idea. Oh my god, let's do that. And I'm like, Oh my god, what do I even do right now? And she's like still talking to me. And the only solution that I can think of off the top of my head is to quickly run into my room and lock the door. Right? Because they can't do anything then, can they? Wrong! She comes and she knocks on the door and she's like, Alex! 
Alex, it's not my real name, guys. Alex, you should come play Monopoly with us. And I just pretend to ignore them. And I sit and I turn on my live stream and I play video games, right? All right, so you get the picture. Starla is incredibly, incredibly annoying. Starla, Stella, whatever I named her. She's incredibly, incredibly annoying. Things get worse, though. Starla ends up moving in, even though she's not allowed to. We live in a tiny little dorm room with uh, virtually no room. We each have our own little bed area, which has a very thin wall separating it, but there's really not that much room to do anything else. So Starla ends up moving in. And I go to Paul and I'm like, Paul, bro, man, this ain't cool, dude. You can't have your girlfriend move in. And he's like, dude, sh just chill out, man. She'll be gone soon. You know, she's going through some things with her roommates and she doesn't feel very comfortable. It's bullshit. They just want to spend more time together. But anyway, she never moves out. She still stays there. And now I'm dealing with uh, some bad things. Because Paul and Stella, Starla, whatever her name is, they start getting a bit more comfortable around each other. And they start walking around with less clothes on, and then they start kissing, and then they start walking around with pretty much no clothes on, and then they start groping each other on the couch while I'm getting food and stuff. And it's like they're, they completely ignore the fact that I'm there. It's college, right, guys? This stuff happens. At least I like to tell myself that. But uh, it's really awkward because I just feel like the only times that I feel comfortable are when, I, when I'm in my room. And I can't like even go out to get food or take a shit or anything because it just gets really awkward because they're around doing things, right? So it's pretty bad, but it's not as bad as, as it's gotten yet. One night, I am going to go ahead and turn on my live stream and play some video games, play some Diablo 3, and... Starla and Paul are getting ready to go to a party because they party a lot. They're very social, unlike me. And uh, the bathroom is just a few feet away from my room. My room is like six or seven feet away from the bathroom. Remember, it's a dorm. Dorms are small. Yeah, the bathroom's very close. And they decide to go ahead and take a shower, except it's not just any kind of shower. It's a very special shower. It's a sexy time shower, but it's even worse than that. They leave the door and the curtains open. I don't know why. I don't know why. You guys can answer that for me. I really don't know why, but it's awkward. I'm sitting there playing my video games, and I'm sitting there, and my microphone is on, and I'm broadcasting right live on the internet to thousands of people at the time, and then they start making these noises, these sexual noises. Like, oh, babe, harder, harder, oh. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, uh, guys, I think we have some technical difficulties here. And a couple of people notice it in the chat. They're like, what are those noises? What's going on right now? I'm like, yeah, we got technical difficulties, guys. I'm going to have to mute the microphone for a little while. I'm thinking in the back of my head, you know what? It'll be all over soon, right? It's not going to take very long. Wrong. They're there, and it keeps going for like 45 minutes to an hour, and they just keep making these noises, and I keep having to mute my microphone, and it's just the most awkward, embarrassing, just, you have to put yourself in my spot. I am seriously just sitting in my chair, mortified. I'm absolutely mortified. I don't know what to do. I can barely move. I can't focus on my video games. I can't focus on talking to anyone uh, who's listening. I'm just petrified. And finally, it's over, and I feel like I uh, have been released from prison, and I'm I'm a free man. But that was one of the most awkward times of my life ever. It was truly a disaster. And that is the shower sex story. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, show some support, subscribe. Do a lot of typical YouTube shit that nobody really likes to hear at the end of a video, but we all say it anyway because we're all YouTube whores. And uh, go ahead and check out the other videos as well. I've got some more stories. And if uh, the story videos get enough support, then I'll go ahead and release some more because I've definitely got some other excellent stories to tell. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed, 
and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys.